This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. One of the greatest things about kayaking is that in general, it's a very safe activity. But the fact that you're on the water exposed to mother nature means when things do go wrong, they can go very wrong very quickly. That's why you need to plan ahead in order to be able to deal with the unexpected. First off, you need to choose an appropriate paddling location for the skill level of your group. And this means accepting the fact that your group is only as strong as the weakest paddler in it. So what makes an appropriate paddling location? Well, if there's anyone in your group who can't physically re-enter their kayak with help, this is a major limiting factor because if for any reason they flip and swim, you'll need to tow them and their gear to shore. In this case, you'll need to stay in water that's protected from wind and waves and close enough to shore so that it's easy to reach. If everyone in the group can confidently roll or re-enter the kayak after swimming, then it's reasonable to start traveling further from shore, but it becomes even more important that you assume a conservative and safety conscious attitude when making decisions on where you'll travel. And we're gonna look at a few things to consider to make your trip safer. One important factor to consider when you're planning a kayak route is what bailout or contingency plan opportunities are available. Having a plan B in mind for getting out of the water is important because there are many factors that can make your original plan unrealistic or even dangerous and people often get into trouble because they think they have no other option but to stick to their original plan. For example, what are your options if the wind picks up strongly or a thunderstorm approaches? Or maybe there's even an uncomfortable amount of motorized boat traffic to deal with. Now once you've established a paddling route and have come up with some backup plans, it's important to create a float plan and to give it to somebody who's not going to be on the trip. The float plan doesn't need to be a fancy piece of work, but it should communicate where you intend to travel, a general outline of your schedule, and your alternate or contingency plans in case something causes your plans to change. The value of a flow plan for day trips or multi-day trips is that they'll give search parties a huge advantage if something happens and you need help. The easiest way to create and send a flow plan is with the ACA's Paddle Ready app, which is available for free through Google Play or the App Store. It also has some cool tools like surf and tide forecasting, river levels, uh, equipment checklists, and more. Now when it comes to contingency plans or float plans, a lot of people won't go to the effort if they're just going on a day trip. But in many ways, day trips are more dangerous than multi-day trips because paddlers usually don't go prepared to alter their plans or spend a night out. This means you'll feel more inclined to push your luck to get back home. This is why for day trips, it's still very important to establish contingency plans and to drop a float plan. This is also why you should always bring an emergency kit in your kayak. An emergency kit is simply a dry bag with enough gear to make an unplanned night out a realistic option. Depending on where you're at and the weather conditions, your emergency kit should include things like a fleece jacket and pants, rain gear, heavy wool socks, a warm hat, a headlamp, energy bars, water, matches and a lighter with some fire starter, and even a small tarp and some rope. Of course, it's not going to make for the most enjoyable camp trip, but it's going to make camping out an option, which is the most important thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you want to learn more about kayaking, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more kayaking tips and tricks.